Hello, thank you for joining us today. My name is Mandy Dennis. I am an account manager here at Remind and we're going to look at how to apply filters and layers to a search. So once you log into the Remind application, please select search under the left hand side menu. From here, you will notice that there is a listing and properties tab. The difference in these two tabs is the listing tab is information that is being fed directly from your MLS. That is in the MLS data that has been entered into your MLS. One of the main differences is if a listing has been entered multiple times into your MLS, that listing will have a property card for each time the property has been listed. On the Properties tab, this information is primarily coming from Remind and Public Record data. On this tab, you will notice that there will be only one property card per property. So to show you guys on how to apply filters and layers, we can either select either listing or properties. I'm going to leave it under the Property tab for now so I can show you how to use some of these different filters on the left-hand side. And you'll also notice there's also filters that you can use on the top going horizontally. So first of all, I'm going to define the area that I'm gonna search within. So you can also, you can go up here and you can add a particular address or if there's a city or a zip code or a neighborhood. So from today, I'm going to add a zip code from Baltimore, Maryland, 21209. That is the zip code I wish to use. So I'm going to click there. And if you notice, it actually highlights my zip code within the map for me. So to keep narrowing down my properties, and if I was going to use this particular search for possibly prospecting for new clients, then I'm going to possibly start adding things that's on the left-hand horizontal menu. This actually, this menu on the side or filters that you can add. And these filters primarily are coming from Remind data or public record data. The filters going across the top are filters that is using MLS data filters. So one of the filters that's popular to use is ownership time. So I'm gonna click ownership time. From here, I can actually type in my own numbers if I would like, or I can select one from the menu. I'm going to select folks who have owned their home between 10 to 15 years and hit apply. From there, maybe I want to check out to see different cell score. And the cell score, what this is, is this is Remind's best guess or estimate on how likely it is for someone to sell their home currently. A high sale score would be someone who was likely to sell their home between six months to a year from now. Those are the people that I would like to target, especially if I'm looking for new listings. So I'm going to click select high and hit apply. From here, if you notice, from the criteria that I have selected of the zip code of 21209, the ownership time between 10 and 15 years and a high sales score, I've received 28 results. These results can be viewed either by clicking on the property cards down by the, by the side, you can also view where those properties are within the map. If you would like to start over in a search, you may always go and click clear all filters and that will wipe your search clean for you to start over with a new search. For more information on what to do with your search results and how to place those within a cart, Please view our, our videos on how to create a cart. Thank you so much for joining us today.
You may always contact us at training at remind.com. Thank you.